Hi folks, I can't quite show you the uh, mix. Well, I've got this, my makeshift palette. The other side of this bit of MDF is uh, what I've been using for my oils. But I've cleaned it all up with um, a bit of uh, linseed oil, turned it over, and I've got a nice new surface for acrylic. You'd be pleased to know, or not in case maybe. Right, I've got a I've got a brush, a three quarter inch watercolour brush, but I'm going to use it for for this. So uh, let's get some some background light. I've got a bit of um, the blue gel, vet gel. It's a lubricant, acrylic. So we've got cadmium red, ultramarine, paint grey, yellow, uh, uh, cadmium yellow, and yellow ochre. So let's get a bit of a tiny bit of bit of light in the back there. Try a bit of that. I'll just have to build this up because I'm working working quite thinly here. Let that dry a bit um, and we'll have um, clean the brush with water. In fact, I don't think I'll use that brush, I'll try some of my cheap brushes. This is a good brush, it's a graduate uh, Pro Art flat, but I'm not, well, we'll see how we go. Put that to one side, just get a bit of some paper on the side of my easel. I don't know what one I'll use. I'll use this this one. Nice blending brush. Okay, so we want some want some green, so paint's grey. Just get some paint on there. an acrylic for, for ages and I know some of you will be quite delighted to see the bit of acrylic. Get some some whitey bit of a bit of blue background. This is a bit of the River Wandle that um, is um, about 50 yards away. <coughs> this is, we're on the foot, imagine we're on the footpath. Um, it's a muddy bit of the, uh, the footpath, or the cycle path, pedestrian path. So it's all fairly new, it's lovely and we cycle along it but there's a bit about 100 yards long that's, uh, un that hasn't been finished, well it hasn't been done. So we we got a lot of rain, we got a lot of mud. dark in here. Shadow. Let me brush this one. I bought a pack of three for about, uh, I don't know, four or five quid, I can't remember. But they're very good brushes. I've got an inch one, this like this one. And a two inch one and a three inch one. The two inch one is very handy for my oily paintings. Just mixing the three primaries here to get a, get a dark shadow area in the mass of trees. We'll have the light 
coming through the the overhanging trees in spring although I painted the original of this in uh, in in the winter uh, in the winter I painted sort of summer trees uh, let's get some let's get this dark sorted out plenty of medium I'm not a lover of acrylic, I think you'll agree with me there that I don't. I love my oil paintings and a few watercolours that I do now in between oils. Let's change my screen, oh, I can't get my screen right. Um, so we want, we want the light shining through the foliage. I've got the board stuck onto this my watercolour board with some tabs masking tape thanks to Barry great idea so I can paint right to the edge because it's quite contemporary to mount these boards on a bigger piece of board painted white with a frame on that so everything sort of leads into the frame but the, it's great for smaller pictures well this is quite small this is um, 14 by 11 so let's get some more dark in there this is a bit of paint spray help help it along a bit You need to work all over the board because when it's damp, if you go over it again while it's damp, it just lifts off, which is a bit of a, a nuisance. do that. We want to light through there but we want it against dark but I got into my white by mistake. This board is, is primed with um, some PVA glue mixed with some acrylic paint, burnt sienna. I don't like the burnt sienna. It, it's, it's the Windsor and Newton, I think it is. It might be a Wilco's, but but any any acrylic one comes out too light. It's nowhere near the wonderful colour that the oil painting version oil paint is. Oh, a bit of. Bit of blue, bluey yellow. The original of this, I can't see, I can't find a photograph of it at the moment. Um, has gone, has gone to America. Pleased to say, it was a little one. It was one of those ten by eights. But it was a good one, it was a, I, I liked it. I could have, this brush here I used for the oil painting yesterday for blending the oil and I forgot to clean it. 
so when I came up here this morning to prepare this board, ah, it hadn't dried, but the oil had been on there, the paint and the oil, the oily paint. Opened a tap, bit of dishwasher liquid in there, in the palm of the hand, whoops, uh, squeeze, 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 under the tap, look at that. Would you know that that was ever used for an oil painting? No. I'll use it for stippling, but... Uh, oh, where, where, where was that? Where's that brush I was using? Oh, now that's that staffed, isn't it? I've, I wish I might that. <coughs> well, I'm still, still not happy with that dark colour. I want to put some trunks on, on, on here when I get all the greens in. some blue. I might have to stop and cut a piece more toweling. Okay, now you, when you do this you don't want the light right in the middle. You need it to one side so I So let's, let's get some grey and some There's a bit of stipple. Just using three primers and that yellow ochre, which I, which I haven't used yet. I'll use in the uh, for, foreground probably. Also, stipple the light back. Darker. I like a bit of red in it as well. Nice dark bluey greens, Payne's grey greens. Stippling is a lovely technique. Use a bit of blue and green. It's just like a tree, an avenue through the trees with this muddy path. So I think this works better than um, than um, using a brush. Oh, a brush and painting with a flat little brush. Well, let's have that. Uh, right, so that'll do for a minute. So red, orangey red, and then the green. Bit of paint grey. Get that light coming through. A 
And you can put blue greens back. Oh, let's get some good yellowy ones in there to show some of the light that I'm going to put in that centre. Now we want the darks on the outside of that. There we have different colours going to from dark to light. But it's all about counter change, light against dark. Right, something's happening there. Right, let's get some uh, cleaner brush. Get out some more yellow and more blue. More yellow and blue. blue. Plenty of blue. I did stock up on Wilco's before they stopped doing all these uh, cheaper acrylics. But that one's a bit too. But they were such good value, two, two pounds for 200ml tube, a reasonable quality paint. But, alas, we stopped doing them. God knows why. I was buying them. And I was telling everybody else to buy them. Okay, so we want a slightly, uh, a bit of grey in that white. Oh, I went into a bit of that. Bit of um, yellow in there, didn't want that. It's got a bit of blue. Well, see, see what happens. I don't want to bring it down too far. Just a little bit up here where that can appears and the light is coming through. And because the current dries, well you can do this with oil. Well, I do do it with oil. But with acrylic it, it dries quite quickly as you know. Okay, now then we've got some nice greens now. So I'm keeping the light centred, well, to one side, but, but you know what I mean, it's uh, around there. And then we're putting these bits of brighter green, where the light is uh, shining through. But there'll be a lot of shrubs and scrubby rhododendrons and stuff 
behind all this. Makes your wrist ache after a while. So that's, that's got a bit of blue in that yellow because that will give the recession, well hopefully give the recession. I hadn't intended to stipple but the board for this sort of thing is just a bit, a bit big. I'm going to come down fairly low because I don't want to do too much of this centre bit in here. We'll get some blue in there. To send that back a bit. Is great is a great um, shortcut. Some warmer greens. It's got red, red in that colour. Bit of orange. Oh, Boris is doing a PMQ's Prime Minister's Question Time today. Oh, I won't be missing that. I'm only doing one today because I've got to fit in a bike ride. PMQ's and cooking a spag bog. Spaghetti bolognese, my friends. Outside, because it's a lovely day again. Bit, bit of a cold breeze yesterday and I and it was playing havoc with my gas stove. It was all right on the, on the gas barbecue when I was roasting some chicken. That turned out lovely. I'm going to put some trunks on here. few showers. I'm listening to the radio. And right, I think we've got enough dark on the outside there. Just going to go in with some, some bit of blue in there, bit of bluey green. Okay. Now some some nice nice white. Let's have a bit of yellow ochre in that white. Just a touch.
No, that should be darker there. Because I'd be silhouetted, wouldn't they? So let's have a dark green. See what happens. So we can always change it very quickly. Takes a bit of time, though, doesn't it? But but we're getting there. We're getting something going on, isn't it? With dark bluey green. Now stippling is a very well tried and tested method. But I think uh, Surat uh, we use the brush like single strokes to do his great pointillism. I don't know why he didn't do it like this. Let's have some orange now. Just warm up some bits and pieces here. When we go out on our Tuesday bike rides, when we'd be a late how to, we call ourselves on the WhatsApp for uh, app. Uh, the Cycle Boys, well there's usually three of us, sometimes four, there used to be six, one's died, the other one, one's dropped out because we don't go far enough, but then we're old, he's not. So Portugal are opening their some golf courses this week. I'll start to put in some sort of mud. Something like that. Just light coming from underneath the, the trees. Alright. 
it's okay. It's not a mud colour, but I haven't got a mud colour. So I have blue and red. Plenty of, plenty of grass on the on the bits of which I ride our bikes through. And these cheap brush are terrific, aren't they? I've used a lot of my head away. It's good catching bits of light coming through. Just pushing the brush. Okay, let's get some dark greens now in that foreground. Then we can stipple in some some light, some some water. Just using the sides of the brush. Using every bit of the brush. Trouble is, being locked down, I can't go to the range, I can't go to Hobbycraft. I have to do everything online, which is we all do, of course. But, you know, it's a very nuisance. And we'll probably find that we were scammed, if you know what I mean. It's a, Well, I don't know, what do I know? Oh, quite a bit of uh, misleading information, pretty like that.
Now at the end of this path, there's a gate and a, a, a tall six, seven foot metal fence with the spiky things on the top to keep people out. But then the National Trust that owns that part of the, well, I don't know who owns a model, I think we all do, but it flows through land. that the National Trust has been administering for years and it's a great place to, for, for fishing. Not that I do any fishing, but it's lovely. But occasionally the vandals get in and they they start vandalising some of the, um, the sluices because the river's very controlled. My river bundle. It's not a river like the Mississippi. It runs into the Thames over after about 16 miles meandering. Yeah, well, that looks a bit wet, doesn't it? Oh, let's get a bit of a uh, bit in here. Oh, let's get that bluey yellow, bluey green. Now, if anybody knows the River Wandle, on the left there's Twitching and Mitchum Football Stadium behind the, the trees. And there's a footpath that goes all the way. We used to do that footpath. It's quite narrow. And if there were some walkers, we always used to stop and let them go. Right, okay, let's uh, use this brush and we'll get some uh, some greeny sort of chunks. You'll see that uh, the light I'm putting in here opens the whole thing up. Just has that lovely effect. A bit more white, catching light. Sort of a greeny grey colour. Oh, Harry's the cat has come up to join us. Oh, yeah, Harry. Hello, mate. Do you like to be a brush? He's got his winter coat now. His uh, winter coat, his summer coat. Oh, Harry, don't drink that water. No. Oh, he's a swan. Come on, you can't. That's poison. Get off. Good. Get off. Go on. Go, go, go. Good, good, good. Oh, he's a devil. He... The dirtier the better. I, I don't think there's anything in the water that's toxic. The, the, the pigment sent us go down to the bottom now. I've lost my brush now. All right. Well, I hope we haven't been misled with this corona. I, I do tend to think that a lot of people included in the count, the COVID-19 count, has actually 
had or got underlying situations exacerbated by the COVID. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I'm going to put some lighter green leaves over some of this. See what I mean? About to Okay, let's do some the other side. So this is just a sort of a ochre green colour. Try to get the branches or the trunks quite thick because trunks are quite thick to the almost to the top of the tree. It's the twigs that are coming off them that's uh, that make it look as if there's a lot of trunks but or a lot of uh, twigs when there's when the the thick trunks go right up to the top. It looks thick. Occasionally you get a trunk that's uh, collapsed in the, uh, in the storm and we have to carefully uh, go around it. Okay, let's... Okay, uh, right now some a bit more stipples, I'll keep my, keep my brush first, otherwise I'll forget. I'll give them a wash in uh, dishwasher fluid at the end. How long have we got? Uh, 45 minutes or 15 minutes to finish it. Right, now, nice.
just catching that bit of light. Just priming that pit up. Well, I'm nearly done. I'll give you a signature and uh, then I'll have a clear up. I'll put it in the frame. Move that. Yeah, I think everybody will know that's me. I've already got a factory floor near here that they would let me have for free so that I could expand oil painting, watercolours, oil, acrylic. Right, I'm going to put it in, in a mount. <clears throat> I've got a frame ready for it. I'm going to see what it looks like. Oh, did you hear that? It just about fits. It was too, too thin for a frame. Okay, that'll do. 
pull nice like that off. So it's a bit bendy there. So just to come down a bit. Well there we are, another one. I'll, uh, when that's dry, I'll give it a coat of uh, PVA glue. It will lift up, lift out quite a bit of the dark colours. <coughs> well, I hope you like that one, folks. Uh, Muddy, muddy path by the Wandle, and we cycle through that, would you believe? Right, okay, see you soon, bye bye.